Philippines celebrated 70 years of diplomatic relations with India at a fun-filled evening in New Delhi. Both countries also concluded agreements in the domain of maritime security, culture, tourism and science and technology. Excellency, on the bilateral level, we'll continue to add new energy and momentum to our ties. So far as tourism is concerned, we'd like to have uh, 150,000 Indians visiting the Philippines. Uh, for the past two years, we've had over about 125,000. So we want to increase that by about 10%. And of course, we want more Filipinos to visit your beautiful country, incredible India. And uh, we are I think we're getting there. We're getting there. Before the end of the year, we have about 10% uh, about increase already. The visibility of Philippines is tremendously high and I think especially from the meeting and incentive market. It's a perfect destination for Indian travelers. So it has nightlife, casino, you know, the shopping. By default, Manila is a hub. But uh, fortunately, there's a flight from Singapore to Borokoi, which is again exceptional. And the good fares available also. So everything is sellable from here. Southeast Asia is always a popular destination and in Southeast Asia they keep looking for newer destinations so Philippines would definitely fit into that bill. Hey you, sorry you couldn't make it to the Philippines, but it's okay, we haven't been up to much. There's just no escaping the heat. All we do is take showers. We keep getting lost. We can't wait for the day to end. <laughs> I'm kidding! We're having a blast. The only thing that would make it better is if you were here too. Over the years, Philippines as a destination has uh, increased in demand for the Indian travelers. Indian clients are exploring beyond Manila and Boracay. They are exploring more islands like Cebu, Bohol, Alnido, Palawan. And also there's a lot of adventure activities like zip line is becoming very popular. There is a quantum shift in the approach to sell Philippines as a destination. The awareness has increased. Our receptivity about the destinations and the unknown and the very beautiful uh, stages of the place are getting vividly apparent to us. I experienced some great golf courses, great food, great nightlife, shopping is fantastic, people speak English. So it's a great place. We still prefer the Philippines because the language problem is not there. The people speak English very well. The Philippines is superb because it's good value for money, hospitality is excellent and I'll rate it as a five-star destination.